Previously on Raveheart, the party found that the village of Hayden was on spiritual lockdown, which meant unleashing ancestral spirits that could not tell friend from foe. The party then saved Lady Tajima from the Galactic Enforcers and recruited her to their cause. Finally, they fought two optional bosses, one that's associated with a side quest and one that can be spawned from an artifact. Alright, so Raveheart got an update with new art. I can't... I don't know who the artist is, though. Hmm. Wow, we even changed the art on a save file. Even though some of the NPC art got changed, huh? Hmm. What about skills and such? I guess it's still mostly the same. Man, we really don't have a whole lot of accessories now that I think about it. Gallery, the gallery should not work on old saves, though. Yeah, it'll automatically crash if you do. Okay, yeah, that's an instant death button. Yeah, let's go to Era. We already bought all we could. Now we have more people. We should stand a chance against Reverend Sergio's forces. We arrive at the destination. A shuttle is being deployed for landing. Planet Era was Larza City. What's going on here? Lord Principus, you're an errand too. Please not let the corrupt officials take over our home. Yes, we have to fight back. That's right, we can't let them push us around. Many of us here are capable ciphers. All of us to drive these enforcers out of our planet. I wish it were that easy, but I can't let you all put yourselves in danger. It's too risky. The royal family is no longer with us, and we will only worsen our situation should we antagonize Reverend Sergio and the enforcers. I'm still here. It's Princess Salamine! Well, it really is her. I can't believe it. She's safe. Your Highness, I'm so happy to see you're alive and well. Can we really recruit these people? No, you are Manchurian agents, are you? You've given us hope of your presence, Your Highness. And I'm surprised to see Prince Zephyr with you. Hey, just doing what uh, uh, princes do. Excellent. It's been difficult here in the capital. Many of our people are angry about the Council's lack of transparency, and understandably so. Yes, and it's truly uh, heartbreaking to see. But Lord Percivus, we should fight Reverend Sergio Tagar. He and his men have been doing such horrible experiments on our people's children. We must stop them and drive them out of our home. That's right, Her Highness has spoken. Yes, I am in full agreement of taking back our home, Princess Salamine, but only worry about the people's safety. No need to worry about the people, Lord Percivus. Me and my friend shall handle the Reverend. You got that right. We'll be taking it from here. And we got the Coonians on our side, too. Your Highness, are you sure about this? You don't need to doubt us, Council Boy. Oh, very well then. Let me help you. I'm pleased to hear that, Lord Percivus. Are you going to be a seventh party member? We, the Lord of S the people of Sector 4, must unite, now more than ever. Lord Percivus, I would like the civilians to stay inside their homes. I would also appreciate it if your men can give them some protection. Consider it done, Your Highness. But we wish to fight as well. You heard a princess, you are still going to be contributing by staying safe for Your Highness. I understand. So, what can you tell us about Lars' situation, Lord Percivus? The city is being guarded by enforcers, but not as heavily uh, guarded as the palace. We are going to be at an advantage, because the Reverend is going to deliver his speech on the city square soon. We're going to be crushing a public speech, now. Count me in. Or er, yes, I suppose. The Reverend will be very vulnerable outside the palace. If we can take him down during a speech, we might just be able to take back Rave Palace. Once the Reverend is down, I can have my men overpower the enforcers. Yes, because without the Reverend giving them orders, their morale will be low. Exactly. Very well then. How much time do we have left before the Reverend begins his speech to the public? We have about an hour or so. I know a quick route around Lars to get to the city square. Okay then, let's proceed. Leave the safety of the people to us, Princess Salamine. Go see that you're safe, Your Highness. Let me just open this. Shall we then? He, he's not really in the party, is he? Aaron Apple. We can't go here. The main road is the one being guarded by the enforcers most of the time. Let's go the other way around. There will be still be enforcers roaming there, but I'm sure it'll be more manageable compared to this. Alright, so this Z store will be quite a messy one, but will lead us to the C Square nonetheless. It will give us some room for the ambush. Got it. Orion Cherry? Huh? We didn't get the element of surprise. Damn it, it's the fugitives. Take them down. Speed. Hmm. 
Okay. Wait, they renamed it. It's Smash now. It's not Fro Plus. And its damage formula seems to be a little different. It's not multi hit attack anymore. Charisma. Octa, AOE on everyone. Hmm. I can also use pain if I want to just quickly take one out instead of doing conversion and, uh, uh, and waiting for them to hit themselves. Hmm. Protector. Smash you. I felt actually could have gotten away with the weaker skill, but whatever. New skills Rampage and Fiery Heart. Kaboom! Whew, your fighting skills are impressive. That's true, Meow. Let's just stay consistent. Consistent, not like the tier deck in Master Duel right now because of all the semi limits on everything. It's still a best deck, but it's also inconsistent to play, and that just feels bad. I really don't like the idea of Count Rakia taking over our sector. Now I just feel trapped and unsafe. You think we care about your stupid Cypher kids? Why you? Stop hurting him. Wait, Princess Alamin, is that really you? What the? It's them. The Reverend wants them dead. Get on. Rampage? Whoa, that's an AoE. I actually have to use that. Whoa. It's a lot of damage. Fiery Heart. It's cost so much EP, but it's also apparently pretty strong. But his main use for EP is to spam his SP generating move. Aura. Protector. Roaming bullets. Oh, it's an AoE, so Protector was useless. Oh, wow, there's a sound effect for his weapon now. Zap learned Preservation Cosmic Vortex. Dodeca. Can't thank you all enough. They still have my little sister. Turns out these loonies are kidnapping child ciphers. Yes, we are aware of this. We are here to stop the Reverend and recover our home. Please stay at your home for the time being, sir. We'll re rescue your sister, I promise. Very well. I trust you, Your Highness. Thank you. I hope we don't end up having to fight mutated children or something. That sounds like something they would pull in Seraphic Blue. So the Reverend is still at it, huh? The Reverend Sergio has always been consumed by the lore of divinity and his peculiar ideas of his faith. 
You must get to the city square as soon as possible. How did someone like him even get gain power anyways? Holy shit. Free star fruits. Who's there? Your death delivery service, wink. What the? Gah. Two ma <laughs> Three machines this time. Well, that leaves nothing for Veronica to do, huh? So Deca, it's strong, but these are machine types, so it's not going to be good enough. Preservation is definitely necessary if they're all going to spam their AOEs on me at the same time. Buff my attack a bit. My attack and defense are buffed. Now finish off this one. Good, that reduces the amount of damage I took, but Elmi would have died if they did another missile. Regular infusion should be enough for the likes of you. Roaming bullets. Oh, I just love it when they start screaming. I won't judge. Chuckle. We're almost there. Let's be careful, everyone. Percivus, are you even doing anything? You're not going to betray us at the last second, are you? Is it ready for broadcasting? Yes, Arvin, you only need to say the word. Splendid, let it begin. The Lord's messages shall be delayed no longer. Understood. Marvelous! Greetings, people of Sector 4. It is I, Reverend Sergio Astario, the bringer of light and the guide to the lost. I hereby assure you that the Lord of Divinity has an immaculate purpose for choosing Count Farakia as the new Watcher of Sector 4. I am also pleased to tell you that your children are safe under our hands. They shall be guided into the Lord of Divinity's saving grace. He's crazy! Let's go get him! Come on, come on! That's enough, Reverend Sergio. Hmm? Who dares disturb the communion of the holy messages? Percivus and the royal criminals, what sacrilege is this? I've been patient with you, Reverend, but enough is enough. You're starting to become delusional. You more like he always was delusional. How dare you? Call every soldier in the vicinity. They they're being attacked by my allies. Haha. -ha. They aren't responding, Reverend. Who <laughs> looks like men are already keeping your reinforcements busy, Sergio? What? You already had your men distract the rest of the enforcers on the main road. Yes, now we can deal with the Reverend undisturbed. Nice going, man. You devilish spawns of evil. Reverend Sergio, we are now taking back our home. Surrender now or face the consequences. You're just like your father, Elamine. Full of blasphemy. I will never give up on my mission. Not for the likes of you evildoers. Almost holy and gracious. Grant me strength. Ugh, of course. Poison. And buffs. Wow. Solo, that's your job. Holy shit. Speed. That was really strong last time, and it's gonna be even stronger now. Agile Fighter, I need all the speed I can get. I'm gonna cancel your stat enhancements. He can take out my MP. Heroism. And also, Charisma. That is your purpose. And your purpose is just spam AoE. Even though it's kind of expensive. Okay, your purpose is... Either Preservation or Jade. I need to take out these stupid robots. Let's 
fire. Because Sola is going to use her AoE right now. To take out the robots. That's a lot of damage. I wish it gave us an exact damage multiplier. Smash seems like it's more MP efficient, though. Hmm. Hit your weapon. Wait, does he have regen? I need to take that off next chance I get. Damn it. Yeah, he healed. Fuck. Tracked her. Yes! Oh man, but most of us are so wounded and Elamine is too freaking slow to do anything. I wish I could buy more refractors too. Wisdom. Rampage, I hope this does good damage. What? Again? I have to use... Oh man. Extractor Alpha first, and then use Extractor Beta when I get a chance. Damn. Termination. Charisma. Remove the regen. Fusion Plus. And then one more Dodeca for the win. Level up. Sacred Relic? Ugh! The Lord of Divinity! Would never forsake me! Arg! Ugh! A thing end for a religious fanatic. All these steps. Sigh. He used to be a good man. Really? I don't know what came over him. Count Farakia. It's all because of him. How did Count Farakia manage to manipulate his, scri him, his scriptures and such? Strange. Or was he only pretending to be a good man? Who knows? I never thought he'd make it home like this again. Yep, we did alright. Yes, and I have each and every one of you to thank. What do the actual scriptures of the uh, uh, of the Lord Divinity say about this shit? Though it may no longer be the same because of everything that had happened to my family, I'm so happy to be able to set foot in here again. Well, I wouldn't mind living here like a princess after all of this is over. Wink. Of course, Veronica, I won't ever forget to compensate you and your family for all of your help. Anyway, we still wouldn't be able to chase the enforcers out of Planet Era in the entirety of Sector 4 if you guys hadn't come along. Reverend Sergio's death was unfortunate, but we have finally given the errands of Sector 4 the peace of mind that they deserve. My men have also found Sir Heron, Prince Aaron's bodyguard. Didn't we brainwash him? He'll be taking the custody as soon as possible. I still cannot process the fact that Sergio is dead, Meow. I've always considered him to be a reliable council member. He was kidnapping children, Mama. Innocent children, Meow. I know, Sola. I just find it peculiar that his behavior suddenly shifted from reliable diplomat to into this. Crazy religious fanatic. Who knows, he could have always been like that the whole time, but was able to mask it perfectly until today. He did seem like the kind of psycho that knew how to fake it. I'm very sure this is all because of Count Farakia's manipulation. The same thing happened to my brother. He used to be so kind. I don't know, it seems like your brother may have always had this kind of inner darkness, since he was jealous he could not be the, uh, 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 the king. But now he's willing to see his own family get hurt just so he can achieve his own goals. Wasn't he always wasn't he wearing an anti-sight device the whole time? I mean, what if he was what if he has always been like that as well? 
That's a possibility. I mean, speaking as a non-cipher Aaron here, I can understand the torment of being stuck on studying books while your cipher sister is being prepared for a leadership role. Thankfully, studying is something I love doing. Yeah, I feel like uh, the seeds of darkness were always there and Varakia simply exploited them. No mind control involved. Just preying on their inner darkness. Ha, huh, tell me about it, Meow. So much for that. You have, to, uh, you have something to ask Persevus, isn't that right, Elamine? Yes. Lord Persevus, as a representative of my friends and our people, I'm asking you, will you lend us your aid in rescuing my fire and, do and doing battle against Count Varakia? Princess Elamine, my slavers and vanguard soldiers are yours to command. It's only right that I, an errant representative of the Council, should do my duty in preserving the honor of our people. Dang, that was easy. I know, right? Meow. Yes, typical Persevus. I'm very happy to hear that, Lord Persevus. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's an honor, Your Highness. Besides, what choice do I have? I'm very sure that I'm no longer welcome at the Cosmic Cube, and I would only rot in boredom and live in shame forever if I cho choose to stay here. Oh. Speaking of the Cosmic Cube, it's going to be our next destination. Yeah, I can talk to my mom and dad about everything, and they might just be able to convince the adjudicator to help us. About that. Are you sure about this, boy? You do know that most of the enforcers have already deemed us rebels and criminals, right? And I'm very sure that Valen has nothing to do with all this. That's true. If someone's currently taking charge of the Galactic Enforcers, it's definitely not the adjudicator. Right. Well, I just want to reach my family in time. Yes, we need to reach Chad's family as soon as possible. We have to make sure they are safe first. Thanks, Alamine. Very well, then. To the Cosmic Cube. How exciting. Meow. The Garden. I don't know if I should feel happy or sad right now. Remembering all the good times that my mother and I shared together in here. Yeah. I can imagine. You must really miss your family, Chad. That's true, Alamine. I just really worry about their safety. I understand. I'm very sorry, Chad. Huh? For what? I have been very consumed about what happened to my family, and I have, I have forgotten to take into account that you, too, have a family that is currently at risk. And instead of being there for you... Uh, being there for them, you're here helping me. Elamine. It's okay. None of us knew about all this. Remember when I got drugged and imp got imprisoned in the radio by uh, because of the Draconians? Yes? Well, I... After escaping that place, I got really scared. The Enforcers and the Draconians wanted me dead, so returning my family was no longer an option. But then this vision of you happened. Gasp. I can see how scared and alone you were in that vision. Almost like we were on the same page. I was thinking that maybe being with you won't make you feel scared- uh, make me feel scared anymore. Turns out... I was right. You were the one who saved me, Elamine. All I'm doing right now is thanking you for that. Chad, I... Probably think I'm such a loser right now. Getting scared like a little boy. No, Chad, it's okay to feel scared. I'm so happy that you reached out to me so that we can be scared together. Thank you, Alamine. Oh, by the way, do you still have that little bracelet that I gave you? I still have it equipped. Yeah, I still have it. I'm glad to know that. May I hold it for a while? Sure. Wait, I have it equipped. Is that going to unequip from him? Or did she upgrade it? Oh, she's upgrading it. Here you go, Giggle. Silver Bracelet Plus. Yes. Wow, I'm feeling more energized wearing this right now. What do you do, Alamine? Magic. Of, of course. I'm going to respect that, uh, the fair magician's desire for secrecy. Oh, Chad. Klein. Hey, man. Lady Tajima and Lord Percivus wishes to see you, Alamine. Oh my, of course, Klein. I'll be there in a minute. You have to excuse me, Chad. Right, talk to you later, Alamine. Hey. Don't tell me you're going to have a duel, and after all... Oh, hey. Last time I saw Elamine this happy was moments before she got betrayed by her brother. Dang. I'm reminding you. Yeah, well... Look here, uh, man, I know you still don't like me, but I do not plan on doing anything bad to Elamine. And I know that you're just doing your job, but don't you think your distrust towards me every time I'm with her is a bit much? Just get to the Atlas of the Hours. Okay then, sheesh. No, please, I don't want to go. What's going on, Robert? I need Klein to come with me. Oh shit, this is for our own good. They're going to sell him to, a, to, to slavers or something. But mom, I don't want to go with him. Listen here, boy. I'm still your father and you must obey me. No, I don't want to. You hard-headed child. Come here. Is this... Uh, Robert, is Klein going to be okay? Yes, he is. No, I don't want to go. Help me, mom. Klein.
Damn it, I overslept. Again, I should get up now. We're still heading to the Cosmic Cube. Part two has been unlocked. I gotta re-equip it. It's got quite a stat boost now. What the heck did it get? Cast Piercing Light to deal Eeper damage on all enemies. What? There's a chest here. Gallery picture, Elamine pixel fan art. And it crashed because I opened a chest. I'm curious about how the High Cypher's powers work. I've got to interview one of the CKA agents here someday, Mao. You know, I'm starting to worry about Valin. The Cosmic Cube has been silent for days, Meow. Part 2. Age is just a number. Oh, Persephus, I didn't know you had it in me to ask me uh, in you to ask me on a date. A date? Can't this just be a friendly meeting? After what happened at the last Galactic Festival? I don't think so. You still remember that? Of course, how can I forget your enduring attempt at ser serenading me under that starlit venue? Er, I was young and stupid at that time, Chajuma. And you're still young now. You're cute, you're smart, and you seem to care a great deal about our galaxy. But I can't, ju can't, just can't date someone who's 44 years younger than me. Meow. But age is just a number, right? Have you forgotten that the first hiking Galar Rave was 56 years younger than his wife Helena Rave? But don't Aaron, do Aaron's live longer or shorter? Even the late Queen Lumina was 50 years younger than Hiking Arcturo. That's because they're all Aaron's, Percivus. Your people's way of thinking is just extraordinary. Meow. But I'm true about... Uh, uh, I'm tr genuine about how I feel about you, Taijima. Your brilliant mind and beautiful face have, has long captured me. Sai, I'll be at the main deck if you need me, Percivus. If I remember correctly, Eren's lived for a very long time, so maybe that's why they're okay with such age gaps. A new watch. Okay, so why do you call me here again? Why me specifically? Because I've got something exciting to show you, Blue. Right, because I look like the excitable type. That's the point. I told Grumpy Gregory to work on a device for his ear, but he's being lazy right now, so I decided to work on something else while Grumpy Gregory's being lazy. I can hear you. Why am I here again? See this new watch I have? Yeah? It's got a really neat feature that allow me to emulate telekinetic powers like yours. Hmm, okay, go on. Just let me do a little demonstration for you. It should make the object fly a little higher. Let me try it again. <coughs> it exploded? Okay. Er, uh, it's still a work in progress, meow. But I have to do something cooler to show you. I'll indulge you. X-ray vision. Great. Let me just... Let me guess, it's gonna shoot lasers. Eek, blushes. I didn't see anything, sir. Meow. Well, at least we know it's working this time. Beauty tips. If you want to try to notice the fire in you, you must put on this pair of stilettos. Oh my. Now let's go practice the strut walk that uh, it'll exude the radiance of your pheromones. On three, two, one. Show me what you got, girl. No slash all I mean, ugh. Walk confidently, chest up and butt up, please. Sigh. Veronica, I don't think this is working for me. Hmm. Maybe you need a loose address and wear something sexy. Veronica, but I don't want that. Come on, sugar princess, do you really want to impress Chad? Because you have to start finding your assets. Well, I do wish to get to know Chad better, but I ju just feel like I'm not being true to myself if I do this. I appreciate you trying to help me, Veronica, I really do. I just wish to stay true to who I am and let Chad decide where he will like me or not. I guess you're right, Elamine. Hmm, I don't think you need to change much of yourself anyways. Go on, go on it, girl. Thank you so much, Veronica. Apple pies? Come on guys, make it fast, I can't hold it much longer. Let me guess. You also ate some of Sola's homemade apple pies, didn't you? 
Not just some, dude. I ate, pun I ate plenty of them freaking apple pies. Now, if you guys should just hurry. Zazir, how about you? Eating the apple pies made my stomach feel strange. Wait, you can talk with, uh, and not use it without telekinesis? Oh man, this is crazy. Relax, Chad. Are you insane? How are you expecting to relax? It's almost ugh. Just do it on the floor. Holy shit. Take it easy. Take a deep breath. Dang, I hate you so much right, right now, bud. Oh no, he really did poop on the floor. I finally told you to relax. Gah! Are you looking at my... I wouldn't even dream of it. Oh. Well, hello there, Klein. Hey. Mm-hmm. Clip's hair. I just closed. Uh, what are you doing? Ugh, you aren't noticing my newly relaxed hair in my new bar suit? I'm sorry. I just don't see the difference. Just perfect, not... Hey, Klein. What's up? Nothing much. I see. I've been itching to test my skills, and I wasn't wondering if you're up for a spar. No. Man, you're no fun. Get good first. Hey, you haven't even tried sparring with me yet. Trust me, I can smell a lousy contender from afar. Dang it, whatever, man. Blue, I wonder what it's like to be at the Cosmic Cube. Beats me, I've never been there myself. Hmm, I hope they have a cafe that serves apple pies. We're heading there to check on Chad's family and ask for the adjudicator's support. And all you can think uh, about are apple pies? Well, duh. Do you always have to be so serious all the time, Blue? I'm just being practical here, but okay. Hello, Klein. I just wish to thank you for all your hard work. I'm very sure that if I were here, he would be so proud of you. I mean, I'm only happy to be of service, Elamine. And I'm sorry. Oh my, why do, you, why do you apologize, Klein? I'm sorry that you had to witness all of those killings. Thank you for your concerns, Klein, but I have to come to accept the fact that you're only doing your job. As much as it pains me to see a death, uh, one death after another, I do understand that our choices are now very limited. This, uh, this will all be over soon, Elmin, I promise. I truly hope so, Klein. Are you ready to go to the Cosmic Cube? Yes. Very well, commencing in 3, 2, 1. We have arrived at our destination. The shuttle is being deployed for landing. Who are you? Say your business. It's Prince Zephyr and Princess Rave. They're the criminals. Hey, hold on. You have to listen to me. We're the good guys here. If you could just please let us talk to my parents and the adjudicator, that would be awesome. Interesting. Yeah, Princess Alamine and her family were set up by Count Rakia and Prince Eren. You have to let us in. What makes you think we would allow such madness? What? We're thankful that you're making this much easier for us. Now it's time to spill your blood and get to the, that promotion that I always deserved. They're be beyond reasoning. Let's get them. Yeah, I don't have any choice but a rampage. Well, that was easy. Well, they asked for it, and we obliged. Everyone! I can feel adjudicator! Wow, where are the odds? I'm also seeing visions of her in my head right now. She's feeling scared. And I can see a prison cell. Both our senses are resonating, Chad. That's right, we have to do something. Even though he's not a cipher, he can use it- he can uh, sense something because of his accessory. Yes, but can you both please come back with us? We can hardly reach the Twilight Zone with you guys. I'm very- I'm sorry- I'm sorry, Veronica. What we're trying to say is that the adjudicator needs her help. She's in trouble. I knew it. Lady Tajima was right to worry about the adjudicator. We must find another way to get to her without attracting too much attention. Yeah, let's not forget about my family, okay? We find Adjudicator and get to your family. Right. Anyway, there's an emergency door in here somewhere that leads directly to the Cosmic Cube prison. It's around the bottom right of this place. Good, let's go. Bottom right. So uh, basically we have to do this one by one. I'll go first. A single chair elevator thingy? That's a lame now. Come on, let's search for the adjudicator cell. Wow, that's gonna be difficult to navigate. But at least it's not a looping map because that would not be logical. What the? There's... Kunians here. I'm gonna save before opening this chest. I don't trust it. If it's... Okay, right now... Okay, gallery chests are instant game overs. Light half. Okay, good. That's a key item I probably need. Book of Shadows. Okay, that's actually good. More upgrades. Dark half. Okay, I think that's two key um, items I needed. Pearl earrings. Use light, use light in half and dark half to open this. Okay. Who's there? Intruders, neutralize them all.
Officer dropped something. Operator's remote. Save before opening, because I... N in case it's a gallery item. Clarity shot. Store fruit. Baby blue dress. Alright, this remote should be able to open the cell. Sweet, Meow. Let's go get the adjudicator. Adjudicator Bell, and it's me, Prince Chad. Ugh. Prince Chad? And Aaron. Princess. Ugh. She's not feeling well. Let me heal you, adjudicator. Ugh. Your Honor, we're getting you out of here. Do you know where my family is? My parents, my sisters? Your family isn't here. Ugh. Your sisters. They're in Cardell. What? This is bad. The... Chorus facility. Dang it. That place, it can't be. Don't tell me... Uh, uh, Klein's father has something to do with this. Boy, your mother. She... Ugh. Her body couldn't withstand the drugs. We just, we'll just have to take her back to the Alice where she can be treated. I can't believe they took my sisters. If my sisters are in control, no, my parents should be there as well. Come on, we have to hurry. A malicious being is watching us. Meow? Looks like something else has been guarding a cell the whole time. Just one dude. Speed. Rampage. I shall fight her. Attack your weapon. Ugh, that's a lot of damage. Termination. Heroism. Charisma. Preservation. Heartache. Hmm. Wisdom. Assault Rifle. Hit Armor. Ugh! It's way too much damage even with the buff. Team defensive. Let's see, I need to buy bar E for cubes at this point. Gift. So Decca. Inspire. Sticky goo. Poison the G down. Rampage. Oh, 
One liner. Gotcha. Incinerate. Ultra hide. Hmm. Plasma barrier. Gift plus. And nothing. Sapphire ring. Whew. It was an Eredian creation. Come on, let's take the adjudicator back to the Atlas. Right. I hope I grabbed everything in that area. Do not touch her chest. It is uh, going to crush my game. Well, she's still in good condition, but she'll need plenty of rest for now. Seems like the person behind the corruption of the Cosmic Cube has severely drugged poor Valen. Hmm, this confirms to us that the Cosmic Cube is indeed currently being held by someone else now. Probably another one of Count Verrachia's lapdogs. Well, my family. The Jewish character mentioned something about my sisters being taken to Gardel. It was that course facility or something. That place. I can't... Damn it. Hmm? It's likely they are using as many subjects as they can for their experiments, and they found some of the Farians and Cardell interesting for their plans. Oh, okay, I hate hearing uh, anything that has to do with Cardell. Ahem. I also believe that your sisters, Prince Chad, are going to be experimented on if we do not get there as soon as possible. Dang it, and where are we waiting for? Let's get to Cardell. Yes, indeed, we must hurry. I wonder who would betray Valen like that. My gut feeling is telling me it's someone who's human, meow. Cardell, huh? I've never been there. Not to mention that their practices on using hexes are still very alien to me. My family. I hope they're okay. I'm going to give those enforcers the being of a lifetime if something happens to my family. This is really exhausting, meow. The sooner we get to kick Rakia's butt, the better. And here I probably won't be going- I wouldn't be going back to that story exclusive of a planet anymore. Such is life. I wonder if we'll see Captain Sharky again, ga uh, maybe working with Warakia. I'm so worried about Chad's family. I hope they're okay. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Raveheart. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.